So hello my dear students and learners. In the series of data structures and algorithm, today I am going to start doubly linked list. So I have already completed most almost all the functions of the singly linked list. Now today I am going to write a function that will add a new node at the beginning of a doubly linked list. Now in case of singly linked list, you have seen that each and every node had two parts only. That is the data part and the next part. That means each and every node was containing the uh, information of the next node only but in case of double linked list apart from the data part and the next part the node will also contain the information of the previous node that means previous node address will also contain in the node so in a double linked list each and every node will have three different parts the previous part which will contain the address of the previous node then the data part and the next part which will contain the address of the next node okay so first what you have to do you have to declare the node as a structure okay that we have also done in case of single linked list so for that we have to use the keyword struct suppose the name of the node is or the structure is d node okay so struct d node and it will contain three different members so first is the previous part which is actually containing the address of the previous node so it will be a pointer so it will be of struct d node asterisk previous so this is a pointer previous which will contain the address of the previous node okay then in the middle part we will contain the data so suppose we will store integer type of data and in the last part of the structure we will contain another pointer which is next pointer which will store the address of the next node okay so this is the declaration of the structure so it is containing three different members okay now after that what you have to do we have to declare the prototype of the function which are going to define so here suppose the return type of the function is void name of the function is add at begin okay and it is not accepting any parameter so this is the declaration of the prototype okay so after declaring the prototype then we will start defining the function so name of the function will be exactly same it will be added begin so return type is void that we have already mentioned the name of the function is add at begin okay and it is not accepting any parameter okay now whenever we are going to implement this function we may have to face two kind of situation that means the list where we are going to insert the new node at the very beginning of the list it may be empty or the list may exist okay so we will consider both the cases one by one so let's have the figure first first we will consider the empty list okay now if the list is empty that means you know that the first node is not there that means the content of the head which actually contain the address of the first node so since the list is empty so the content of the head will be null okay so head pointer will contain a null value so this is the head since the list is empty that's why it is containing a null value okay now in second case we will consider an existing list now in second case we will consider that list exist So in this list we have considered three different nodes. So this is the first node. Suppose the address of the first node is 100. This is the second node. The address of the second node is 200. And this is third node. The address of the third node is 300. Okay. So head will contain the address of the first node. So head content will be at 100. That is the address of the first node. Now this, this middle part is the data part. So here we will store some integer value we have declared the structure like that so some random integer value suppose 11 
then 8 then 15 so this kind of integer value random value we are storing now this is the previous part so 100 is the first node so before 100 no node is there so 100 previous part will contain a null value okay now 100 next node is 200 so 100 next part will contain 200 now 200 previous node is 100 so 200 previous part will contain 100 and 200 next node is 300 so 200 next part will contain 300 now 300 previous node is 200 so its previous part will contain 200 and 300 is the last node you can see from the figure so it next part will contain a null value because you know that last node next part always contain a null value so this is the existing list now we will consider both the cases one by one now this is the added begin function so first what we have to do first we have to declare a node pointer okay so we are writing struct d node asterisk nw so nw is the pointer which we will use to create the new node okay but before creating the new node we will take an integer value from the user that is going to be stored in the data part of the newly created node so first we will declare an integer variable for example int num then we will print a message so we are calling the printf function that enter a number then after seeing this message by the user user will read a number from the keyboard so we are calling the scanf function so integer value that's why we are using the format principle percentage d and this value that is being scanned from the keyboard will be stored at the address of the num variable so that's why m percent num so we have taken the value from the user then what we will do we will create the new node so we have already declared the node pointer so now we have to call the malloc function which will create the new node so syntax is nw is equals to struct d node stir malloc then size of struct node okay so up immediately after executing this line by the compiler what will happen a new node will be created so for example this is the new node so doubly linked list node that means it will have three parts okay and suppose the address of this node is 50 which is going to be the first node similarly we will draw the node for the empty list also so although the node will be created only for the ones but since we are considering both the cases so that's why we are creating the nodes for both the cases actually okay now node is already there which is being pointed by the nw pointer because this address 50 has been stored in the nw so this node address or the node 50 is being pointed by the nw pointer okay so this is the new node which are we are going to insert at the beginning of the list now after creating this node what we have to do we have to access all these three parts of the nodes and we have to store the value over there so first we will insert the data part so how to access we have to write nw arrow data so you are writing nw arrow data is equals to what the number that we have just taken from the user so this integer value suppose the integer value that we have taken is 9 so that we have stored in the data part so this is the previous part this is the data part and this is the next part so in the data part we are accessing data part nw is the pointer which is pointing to this node so nw arrow data will be 9 so we are writing the same thing for the empty cases also okay then what do you have to do we have to access the previous part as well as the next part okay so first we will access the previous part so nw arrow previous prev in short we are writing prev so the node that we are inserting that will be the first node of the list that means before this node no node will be there that means the nw previous part will be null okay that means this is going to be the first node so we have to store a null value over there so what we will write nw arrow previous is equals to null okay irrespective the cases that whether the list is empty or exist we have to store a null value because this will be the first node and first node previous part will be null since the 
before first node no node is there okay now if the list is empty or if the list is exist okay so look at this so here the when the list is empty the head content is null and when the list is list exist actually it is containing the address of the first node so here we can say this node is being pointed by head because this is the content of the head okay now in the next part of the head what you have to store we have to store the address of the previous first node because this is going to be the first node this one is going to be the first node okay now the current first node will become the second node the current second node will become the third node and the current third node or last node will become the fourth node okay similarly in case of empty list it will be the first node okay now you check that in case of empty list since this is the very first node that we have inserted and it will also be the last node of the list so here we have to store a null value so in w arrow next in w arrow next so in w arrow next in case of empty list we have to write a null value so you can check that head is already contain a null value so if we write head here so it will be null that means in w arrow next will be null okay so it is working for the empty list now we will also have to check this line for the existing list now in w arrow look at this figure nw is pointing to 50 so its next node will be what so after inserting this node as the first node this will be the second node so the first node next part that means nw arrow next will contain its next node address so this is the first node this is the second node the second node address is what it is 100 and which pointer is pointing to it is being pointed by head so in the nw arrow next what you have to write you have to write head and that we have already written so if this line gets executed for the existing list that means nw arrow next will be the current head value and the current head value is 100 that simply means that that nw will be the first node it, that's why its previous node previous part is null and its next part is 100 that means after 50 the next node will be 100 okay so this connection we have done made okay and you check for the empty list it is okay that means previous node is also null next node is also null now in case of existing list you check that the current second node which was the previous first node its previous part is still null because earlier it was the first node that's why its previous part was null but we have to now change it because right now before 150 is there okay now when these changes will be made first we have to check a condition we have to check if the list exists so what you have to write if head is not equals to null if head is not equals to null that means the list exists so we can make a comment line over there if list exists okay now if the list exists then what do you have to do we have to change the current second node previous part which is being pointed by head so we have to write head arrow previous that means head means 100 its previous part that means this part we have to write the address of the previous node that is nw so head arrow previous will be nw that means nw is 50 so head arrow previous will be 50 okay so you check that that if the list is empty this is the first node its previous part is null its next part is also null so this is the first node as well as the last node but if the if it is the existing list that means it is the first node so first node previous part is containing null and its next part is 100 so 100 is the next node and 100 previous first we have just changed so it is containing its previous node that is 50 its next part is 200 now 200 is the next node 200 previous node is 100 and 200 next node is 300 and 300 previous node is 200 and 300 next node is null okay so it is working fine now we have to only change the content of the head why because we have inserted the new node at the very beginning of the list and you know that the first node or the beginning node address is contained by the head so since the first node we have inserted so head content we have to change so now what you have to write 
so out of this if block because if block will have only one statement what you have to write we have to change the content of the head so what you have to write head will be the new node that we have created so head will contain the address of the new node that is nw here so we have written head is equals to nw okay head is equals to nw so in that case what will happen the head content will be changed and it will be the value of nw it will be 50 that means 50 will be the first node and in that case also the head content will be 50 okay so now the address of the first node is 50 that's why head is containing 50 okay so this is the end of the function so you can check that first we have to declare the structure each and every node is containing three parts previous part data part and the next part and then we have declared the prototype of the function and then we have define the function so i hope that you have understood the concept of inserting a new node at the beginning of a double linked list okay so thanks for watching please take care have a nice day